promises to be better, and there is always room for improvement, especially in the botanical world. Frank Rousher joining us. We Good have, morning, Christian. We got some more problems here we have to deal Ooh. with. Yeah. Well, this Palo Verde, our homeowner called me uh, about a problem with her Palo Verde. She has several of them, and they're all dying from the top down like this. Yeah. And so uh, this was something I wanted to look into. It's a bad landscape issue. So you went on the investigation, and let's hear what the homeowner had to say. Let's do that. And then all of a sudden, if you look at our tree up here, which I believe they're Palo Verdes, there's three in our yard. They started looking rather sick. Well, my husband said, well, maybe because of the cold, freezing weather we've had for the last, you know, the month of December. Mm -hmm. And then I started getting more and more concerned because if you look out in the yard, I've got more that have died too. And then today I decided to reassess everything and realize that most of my backyard is dying. Ooh, certainly not good Ooh. there. And you went out to investigate. Right? I did. You know, the first thing I thought, let's look at the roots. So I dug into this uh, primary Palo Verde, like you see here, and the roots were right near the surface where they're supposed to be. So I could eliminate a planting issue. What I did find when I looked down there is, as you can see, everything's real wet looking. Her whole landscape was real wet looking. A little too much moisture. And some of the plants that were dying, you said they're drought resistant. Oh yeah, they're drought tolerant plants. Here's another one, the Cassia. Uh, these types of plants are different from low water users. Because they're drought tolerant, they want infrequent water with lots of air in the soil. Uh, they started dying back last November when we got cool and the soil started getting wet. So, and uh, this is a good example of w w good landscaping here. Yes. Everything's properly, and this is all drought resistant, right? It is. Drought yeah. tolerant, and you can see how beautiful the Palo Verde gets. Okay, and you have an email question? I did. This week our, our homeowner wrote me and said, is it a good time to plant pansies? Well, quite frankly, it's late. Maybe if you have a couple to fill in that are dying, but pansies are going to be done with their season in early May. So now's a good time for petunias, there's marigolds. So you just got to mix it up. You got to mix it up. Don't get locked into uh, just what you wanted to do initially. So uh, what was your uh, basic prognosis with everything dying there? You said moisture was a problem. Well, I've got a feeling because she wasn't overwatering. Mm -hmm. I've got a feeling her soil's wet from nearby uh, neighborhood water that we have very clay type soils and the water tends to move horizontally. I think some water's moving into our yard. So okay. there's some research to do on that. That's certainly something you don't think of that yes. too much water can do some damage. Yes. And uh, of course, uh, if we have uh, any questions for Frank, you have any concerns, uh, Frank's always here from Star Nursery and they are a proud sponsor of us here at KTNV. And questions or concerns, email Frank at Star Nursery. He's on the case and he'll be out. I'll be out. He'll be out camera. to help you out as we head here into springtime. Lisa and Casey. Thanks guys. 